Sparrow Scan Plan, Scanning, Project Setup to Exporting. In this video, you will see how to set up the Faro Scan Plan. Begin and name a project, scan rooms, add photos and annotations, and export the project to a USB drive. Note, this video is in real time to show the speed of the Faro Scan Plan. Faro Scan Plan operates with the Scan Plan app. If you're using a Faro provided phone, the app is preloaded. If you use your own phone, download the app from iTunes or Google Play. Press the power button, open the phone cradle, and insert your phone. Tap the Faro Scan Plan app to open it. Tap Trust at the prompt and enter the passcode of your phone. Tap Connect. From this screen, you can select an available project or begin a new one by tapping the plus symbol. Enter the name of the project, then click Create. Let's pause here for a moment to point out a great feature. Level is used to inform the scan plan what floor you're on. In our example, we're in a one-story building, so we'll keep level at one. If you are scanning a multi-story building, you can scan floor by floor, opening the same scan and changing the level number. At the end of scanning, when you view the file, you will see all floors in a stack. Please see our video on scanning multiple levels for more instruction. Click Add, and you are ready to begin your scan. Faro Scan Plan Scanning Take up your position, planning for overlap the beginning and end of your scan. Tap the green plus symbol to begin recording. The scan is 230 degrees, so you're seeing the plan build rapidly. Here, Elena has captured the hallway hub through the door. Within the scan, you see a marker indicating the start position and a moving icon that represents the scanner. Walk at normal speed as you watch the plan build. Is there a room feature you want to capture? That's easy. To attach a photo, expand your menu by tapping the plus icon. Click the image command and confirm. Frame your shot, tap the captured icon. Note the phone icon stays on screen now. Continue scanning. Take pictures of features of interest or objects that block the wall. The scanner will show a blank space when scanning windows, so take a photo. You do not need to be close to a wall to scan it. Range is up to 65 feet. You may need to be close to take photos. You are not limited to photos. Annotations, files, measurements can also be attached to specific places in the scan. Open the menu, tap plus, and select a file icon. You can take a photo or video. Attach a photo from your phone or browse to a file. To add a note, tap the menu, tap plus, and select the annotation icon. Confirm and type your text. Then tap add. On the plan, notice all the markers indicating notes and photos. In a matter of minutes, the scan is complete with multiple photos, annotations, and files attached.
Finish by overlapping the start, clicking the red stop icon and confirm by clicking yes. Ferro scan plan, optimizing before export. The scan must be optimized prior to exporting. Tap the options icon. Tap map optimizer. Tap optimize. Depending on the size of the scan, optimizing will take several minutes. During optimization, the scan is set, photos, notes, and files are organized into folders for easy export. Once completed, the app will prompt you to exit the map optimizer. Tap yes. Ferro scan plan, exporting a project. A project can be exported to a USB stick, computer with a USB transfer cable, web share if you're online, a PDF saved to your phone, scene to go, and more. Tap the options icon and tap export. Select your export of choice. Once complete, you will be notified. The exported file can be opened in FerroZone 2D and FerroZone 3D. Tap the X to close the project. Ferro scan plan, icon guide. See additional videos for working with the Ferro scan plan.